Ladies and gentlemen, episode 3, a major shake-up has already been announced. The Raw GM, myself, and the SmackDown GM have agreed to a very, what will be a very iconic contract for years to come. Both parties have agreed that the Raw show will be taking all of the women, whilst the Smackdown show will be taking all of the tag teams. Now, this is going to shake things up drastically because I will no longer have a tag team division and Smackdown will no longer have a women's division. Oh, business is grand. Because whilst they've got Matt and Jeff, Jeff Hardy, I've got Charlotte Flair and Sasha back. So, let me just drink in my glory. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Uh, episode 3, like I said, uh, Shadow Hunter. By the time you've watched the first two episodes in this episode, the chase would have already been out and live. It's finally happening, it's now or never. And for being honest, I'm really enjoying this. Um, If you didn't see the last episode, go watch it before you watch this episode. I will leave a link in the card section in the top right hand corner. So, what we're doing today, uh, we are deciding the number one contender to the Women's Championship, which, if we go over here, is currently held by none other than not Charlotte Flair. Oh, no one! Haha! <laughs> Because guess what? Charlotte will be putting the women's title on the line. And this one will be a triple threat. And the winner will take the Raw Women's Championship and go up against Charlotte Flair. And the winner will be the Unified Women's Champion. So let's get into tonight's card and show you what we have in store. Tonight's show is a stacked one, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm only going to show you the women's title match. Because I don't want to spoil the rest of the show. But as you can always see, Elsa Black will be making a promo at the start. Let's quickly go to the Raw Women's title match. And see Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax versus Natalia. This will be a stacked match that we are all waiting to see. Let's get ready to rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. Tonight we have got a stacked card, like I have said. But before we get into this incredibly stacked card, we've got a word from the man, the Dutch destroyer, Alistair Black. Alright, Alistair Black, the man that put on a brilliant effort against Roman Reigns two weeks ago and was attacked by Kevin Owens last week has come out to say a few words there's no there ain't nothing that gets me more pumped up than hearing that music hit and knowing I'm about to come out to be with the best fans on the planet the WWE Universe I've been pushed around and ignored for far too long, and there's only so much one man can take. It's hard to get what I want around here. And if people aren't going to give it, give me what I want, I'm going to take it. The boys in the back call me a B plus player. Let me tell you something. The only B plus I ever got was in geography because I couldn't find Djibouti on the map. But you know what? I'm about to get that. An A plus on inviting plenty of booty to kick around here. <laughs> what the 
fuck with that. Anyone who steps in the ring with me is directly impeding with my success. This is not a game to me. I step into this ring to earn my living. This is my life. I'm doing this to make every guy in the back better. The better I am, the better they are. So tonight begins the journey to making every superstar great. Brilliant words there by Alistair Black. He has come with a vengeance and he is not going to give up until he gets what he wants. And what does he want? A match. Will he get one? Not tonight. But he'll get one next week. But tonight it's not about the men, it's about the women. And tonight it'll be these three women going head to head for the Raw Women's Championship to go to Extreme Rules to face off against Charlotte Flair. Let's get into it. Here comes the goddess of Raw. Alexa Bliss. <laughs> five times women's champion. The five feet of fury. Uh, former mixed match challenge partner with Braun Strowman. Uh, has been getting kind of close with someone that she calls him. I wonder what that could be about, but tonight, that's not our focus tonight, it's the Raw Women's Championship, the focus of her, comes out next, the longest serving woman, to well, the longest in ring competitor for a woman, Natalia, been here since 2008. Still going, 30 years strong. Obviously, the niece of the great Brett Hitman Hart. Let's see if she can convert her years of experience into a victory tonight. As she's up against some very tough opponents. Alexa Bliss, obviously, an incredibly talented opponent. And Nia Jax is just a wrecking machine. She is a locomotive that won't stop until she gets what she wants. But could Natalia stop her? And here comes the irresistible force. Nia Jax. It comes marching down to the ring ready to destroy anything in her path including the two women in the ring right now will she succeed let's get right into the into the fight all right let's get into this i am nia Jax because i thought why not let's <laughs> take part in this very important match and i felt like my input should be put in this um maybe if you think otherwise then fair play to you but go play your own uh, universe mode then if you think about Think like that. No offense to us. No, Jax with a beautiful spinning back fist to Alexa Bliss. Bliss reverses Jax, puts her on the floor. It's going to do next. Oh, Stomper. Oh, Jax with a beautiful jab and just runs her over. Oh, Jax has Natalia in her sight. Natalia goes for the leg of Jax and she clotheslines her down to the floor. Bliss, Natalia going after each other. Will that be a good idea? Knowing Jax is in this match and she could take both of them easily. We saw Jax defeat Bliss with such ease at WrestleMania 34. And Jax just brutal powerbomb into the canvas. Oh, brutal elbow. Now focusing on Natalia. Jax, what's she going to do here? 
Oh, been taken down by Jack. Well, by Natalia, sorry. <laughs> Trade it to Michael Cole. <laughs> Bliss just watching Natalia do a dirty work for her. Natalia trips over Nia Jax. That might cost her here. Nia sleeping, of course. Bliss just wrenching the neck of Natalia there. Naya has caught Alexa again. Oh, brutal power slam into the canvas. What's Jack's going to do here? Picks up Natalia. And what's she going to do? Brutal drop. Jack just has the power no one else has. Oh, cover. One. Two. Oh, Natalia reverses it. One. Oh. Jax kicks out at one. Oh, both ladies working together against Nia. Oh, Jax, brutal power slam and leg drop. She goes for the cover. And it's a one, two, oh, kick out. Oh, he's got Natalia up. For that Samoa drop. And now she goes for the pin on Natalia. One, two, three. Jax goes through. She's going to be facing Charlotte Flair. At Extreme Rules. Bit of a quick match there, but don't worry, the main event will be better. As we have Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins. Let's get into that match right now. Here we go, the main event tonight. We've got the big dog in the house, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. With his, with Devil's Advocate, Paul Heyman, watching in the shadows. Now we know Reigns will be facing Lesnar up the three rules, but the stipulation has not yet be dis been decided. And a tweet from our Raw General Manager has been announced that if Reigns loses tonight, he will... Lesnar will pick the stipulation, but if Reigns wins, he picks the stipulation. Obviously, we know how close Roman and Seth have been in the last 10 years. Since 2012, Reigns and Rollins were part of a faction known as The Shield. And in 2014, Rollins turned his back on Reigns and Ambrose. And they all went their separate ways. There was a, re there was a couple of reunions that fell a bit short after Ambrose betrayed Rollins. And one last shot before Ambrose left. But tonight, it's not about that. Tonight, it's about these two brothers going to war. As the Beast Slayer, the Destroyer, Seth Rollins, is making his way out here in his fiery red attire. The Targo is back. Nearly as big as Romans now. Roman will have the biggest title on his back if he beats Brock. And we all know Seth wants that title to himself. So this could be the start of something between these two brothers. Who will persevere? Will Roman Reigns 
beat the living hell out of his brother Seth Rollins, or will Seth use his cat-like agility, like he did with Lesnar, to master his way through Roman and use his brother knowledge on Roman to capitalise and beat the big dog. Let's find out right now. Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, it's live! Brutal shoulder barge by Roman, Seth rolls out of the ring straight away. Like I said, he's using his agility to his advantage against Roman. Jumps over Roman and... I have no idea what that was meant to be. <laughs> but Roman picks up Rollins and has taken advantage of the situation. Oh, against the rope to Rollins' neck that's got to writhe against his esophagus there. Superman punch already! And it's a cover one, two. Oh, Rollins kicks out. Roman going for the spear already on Seth, and it hits. Has Seth just been demolished by Roman Reigns? One, two, and three. Roman wins. We thought this would be all out war. But Roman gets the better of Seth. Seth loses in 40 seconds. How embarrassing that must be to Seth. Look at him on the in the on the ring. He's just so disappointed. Roman just came at him with everything he had straight away. And that has to be it. Let's see what happens next. Looks like Reigns has a couple of things to say after that brutal showdown against Seth. Just dominated him within a minute of the match. Just a Superman punch and a spear was all it took. And what's going to happen now? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am out here to do what I do best. Talk. My client is out here to do what he does best. Kick ass. So please warn your loved ones and prepare accordingly. I'd like to utilise this precious time to talk about a certain star who is not my client anymore. This superstar is brash, rude, untalented, pathetic, spoon-fed, everything your mother taught you not to be. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we all know who we're talking about. Who came for a fight? I said, who came here for a fight? That's why I thought. Brock, get your ass out here so my client can give these people what they want. I said, come out here now. So it looks like Roman didn't think Seth was a challenge at all and he actually wants the beast to come out. But is he coming? Will the beast come to fight? Brock has come to slay Roman. Brock, with no fear, just flexing his way up the stairs. Just no fear in the eyes of the beast. Brock just walking up to Paul with no embarrassment. What does Brock have to say to him? Well, it's Someone has to show you a right. Otherwise, we know you'll be here all damn night. So here I am, Paul. Hi, nice to see you again. Now, uh, shut up already. Oh, Paul. My friend, if you like a front row seat to witness my monster in person, and what I have to say, that's fine by me. So as I'll say, my client has been in the main draw of this company for too long. Too long without getting more opportunities than he earns. 
This company is nothing without him. It's all for the games, Paul. But until someone loses a career, if you're the advocate, you say you are, you'll stop risking your client's career right now. Cause I'm, I'm part of the mood to everyone right here tonight. Bravo, Brock Bravo. What an excellent performance. I truly do applaud such strong and vivid imagery in your words. But do you realize this is a WWE, not the UFC? This is a place where destruction trumps everything in the dictionary. Trust me, I should know. And what my client could do to you is greater than any star has done before. Enough talking that your client finds great fruits and agree to face me one on one. Whether it's here, whether it's at the pay per view event, whether it's at WrestleMania, I want to prove myself once and for all. The thing is, my client and I don't dis don't like being disrespected. So because of this whole spiel, I personally vow that my client will tear apart every man in this roster as revenge. You, my friend, you're going to be blamed for the WWE crum crumbling from within. Never disrespect the other way, family. Oh. Brock tried to approach Paul. Oh, Brock with a brutal right hand to Roman. What's this mean? Oh, it's a fight. Roman reverses the suplex. Roman with a just a shoulder. Oh. Oh, Roman, belly to belly suplex. Brutal showing here. Lesnar trying to attack Heyman and Reigns comes in to save the day. Oh, Broadway slam. Someone needs to stop these two fighting right now before it gets heated before the pay-per-view. And Reigns gets hung up against the ropes. Reigns rolls out the ring. And a brutal shoulder to, to Brock Lesnar. Now this is the fight everyone came to see. Not just a pity 40 second bailout against Seth Rollins and a brutal powerbomb. And then Reigns smashes, oh, Brock reverses and smashes his head against the hardest part of Reigns and into the barricade. Brock has taken apart Roman Reigns here tonight. This is a go-ho show, four extreme rules. Who will win in this gruesome war? Find out next episode, ladies and gentlemen. This was a pleasure, and I'll see you all next time.